everybody, it's Kyle. I'm here to talk to you today about how to share your Desmos graphs in the YouTube comment section. Before we jump into things, I want to give a colossal shout out to my viewer Yeet, who single-handedly brought this problem to my attention and outlined a plausible workaround. Thank you so much, Yeet. May your SAT score be eternally yeeted into the 1500 plus stratosphere. Here's why you should care. If you are struggling with a Desmos solution, you may want to share your graph in the comment section to get feedback from myself and others. It breaks my heart to see comments like these ones here because I want to help, but without the graph, I can't see what you are doing wrong. Another reason is that sometimes the viewers come up with valuable solutions that they want to share with the community. Take this comment, for example. A student comes up with um, an elegant solution not really mentioned in my video, but where's the sauce? This is an Italian channel. How can you not have sauce? Well, as it turns out, Desmos graphs get picked up by YouTube's site-wide spam filter. So when a viewer comments one, it automatically gets removed. This is ridiculous. They took away annotations, the dislike button. You can't even swear in a fucking video anymore without it getting demonetized to hell. Wait, and now they wanna take away our math too? That's where you take it too far, YouTube. YouTube doesn't tell you when your comment has been spam filtered. It just takes it down. So. You could have been commenting or posting links to graphs thinking people were just ignoring you, but no, it's because it got picked up by YouTube spam filter, so sorry. So what are we gonna do about all this? Well, what we're gonna do is we're going to just, as a community, share the links in a more roundabout way. So here's what you need to do. First, go to desmos.com slash calculator. And quick sidebar, there are like no differences between the base vanilla version of Desmos and the DSAT version of Desmos. The vanilla version just has some quality of life improvements. Um, mainly you can add notes and this is the most important one. You can actually save your graphs for later. So let's say you actually come up with like 50 to 100 Desmos solutions to a bunch of different types of problems. You can save them to your own account and reference them later. So that's really helpful. So you should always be using the base vanilla version at desmos.com slash calculator, in my opinion, or at least almost always. Go to desmos.com slash calculator. Take some time to create your graph, then click on the share button in the top right corner. Then click the copy button. Now you're ready to jump to YouTube, draft your comment, and paste your link. But before you hit comment, we're gonna highlight all the text that comes before the final slash. So up to and including desmos.com slash calculator, leaving that final slash and character code. And we're gonna hit backspace so that just the slash and the character code are left. Now you are good to press comment. Your comment should get published. And now someone else, mainly me, can come back to the same video, copy the remaining text, go to desmos.com slash calculator, and then paste the remainder of the URL directly to the right, press enter, and you'll be able to see and interact with that person's graph. Ta-da! Since I'm an improved user on my channel, I can still post Desmos links. So if I notice someone puts something particularly helpful, I'll comment the link myself to make it easier for others. But be warned, if you see a Desmos link from me, on this channel. It is quite often going to be a meme. Okay, so hopefully this little tidbit helps you communicate with others on the platform using Desmos. I'm really sorry it is so needlessly complicated, but YouTube gonna YouTube. We got lots more good stuff on the horizon. Have a good rest of your day, everybody. Peace.